What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. For today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I did a Milky Way panel blend from Bass Harbor Lighthouse in Maine. Now this is a tricky lighthouse to photograph at night because as you can see, the lighthouse is red and it just soaks up in everything in the foreground here. Um, I tried to balance this out with a moonlight shot taken earlier in the night. So I think this was a quarter moon and this helped reduce a lot of that redness you see here in the foreground. I also did a little bit of light painting on this path that leads towards the lighthouse. So I think this came out pretty pleasing. I only took two shots for this panel right here. I left it in landscape orientation just because I was being lazy and uh, this made life a little bit easier since I only had to do um, a 1 15 degree increment to take the two shots. So here is the first shot taken at ISO 500 with my 20 millimeter lens on my Z7 at f8 and this is 266 seconds and I followed that up with a 15 degree rotation and pretty much did the same thing my uh, my shutter speed was 255 so it was off by like 10 seconds but it's not a big deal and then I blended the two into a panorama and then once the Milky Way was in position I did the same thing However, I did stack these photos. So I took 20 photos here and 20 photos of this, and then I stacked them and tracked the sky just to make things a little bit sharper and less noisy. And then we combined them into a panorama as well. So now we're gonna take these two panoramic shots and open them up in Photoshop. So let's go to edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. All right, so here we are in Photoshop, and if I click and reveal this layer below it, you can see they're not quite perfectly aligned. Um, this is my foreground layer, and this is my sky layer, and we gotta make them better aligned. So let's select them both and go to Edit, Auto Align Layers, and hit OK. Now this usually does a decent job, but it's not gonna be quite perfect on these set of photos, just because when they were blended as uh, panoramas, they blended a little bit differently, you could see the trees don't match perfectly and um, obviously the foreground it's gonna be sharper in my f8 shot than it is with my wide open shot these bushes are blurry but um, it's not the end of the world I'm gonna show you guys how to blend this pretty easily the one thing we do have to get rid of though is the tree on the sky layer because that's just gonna make life a lot harder and I don't want to have a bright red tree so I want to get rid of that. I'd rather use this tree for my final image. So let's make a copy of these images. And let's hide this top uh, foreground layer and focus on our sky layer. So I'm going to zoom in here. I want to grab the polygonal lasso tool. And I'm just going to start right around here because I kind of want to get rid of this area. So I'll click right here. And I'm just going to do this really fast. And then we're going to connect it. Right click. Oops. Got to make sure I'm on the right layer. Right click and go to fill. Content aware. Hit OK. And let's deselect the marching ants. And it does an okay job. You can see it's not perfect down here. Um, I'm not too worried about that since it's gonna be mostly covered with these trees. We do have to fix it up a little bit though. And there's a couple different ways to do that. So first I want to grab my patch tool and kind of smooth out some of these areas. And I'll also be jumping to the spot healing brush as well getting rid of these weird little artifacts here. Now for down in this area, I wanna switch over to the clone stamp tool and just bring some of this over here. We could increase our opacity. I'm gonna lower it a little bit right here. We wanna tone down a lot of this red and kinda of make this blend pretty nicely. I 
and switch back to my patch tool, select areas and kind of just drag them out and try and smooth this out a little bit more. And then again, go back to the clone stamp tool. Just kind of feather this out. A lot of that's gonna get covered up with the tree and the bushes here, so I'm not too worried. I think I have that smoothed out pretty good. And if I always miss some areas, I could clone it out later. Let me just do a little bit right here. And spot heal this little piece right here. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna put my foreground layer back on. And now we want to create a layer mask. And I'm just going to hit my, oops. I want to change this opacity to 100%, hardness at 100%. And I hit the backslash key so I could uh, see where I'm painting. And we're just going to paint away. I also want to replace the water since we have a Milky Way reflection in the bay area here so that's why I'm painting all the way down here. And plus we want to get rid of the harsh light from the moon that's reflecting uh, in the bay as well. Alright so once that's done I'm going to right click and go to select a mask. And now we just want to paint around the areas that we want to blend. And hit OK. And I'll take I'll turn the backslash key off so I can see what's going on here. And it did an OK job. We still have to fix up some areas where it's a little blotchy. So let's zoom in here. So I'm going to lower my hardness down and lower the opacity. Let's switch to black on paint in the sky. Let's bring the opacity up a little bit. Not too worried all the way up here because this is going to get cropped out. This was when we did the pano. It uh, did some autofill up here that's a little bit off, so I'm gonna crop that section out so I'm not too worried about it. And I'm gonna lower the opacity now and just feather a little bit of this area right here to get some more of that, that red glow. And then same thing down here, I gotta feather this out. All right, that's starting to look pretty good. And now around the tree area, it's a little funky over here, so we're gonna switch to white and increase the brush size. Put the opacity really low. And again, I'm doing some feathering in the opposite direction now. Now I'm bringing back some more of the foreground. I'm gonna kind of hit it over the tree a couple times. I'm only at 5%, so it's not doing too much. It's just a nice subtle, nice subtle blend. All right, that's starting to look pretty good. And as I was saying before, the blotchiness uh, from our sky layer here, you don't really see it too bad once this tree gets in front of it. Um, yeah, so it's starting to look pretty good. I could always paint a little bit of uh, like a pinkish red behind here a little bit more if I wanted to but it's not too bad of a blend or I could also dial this back a hair all right so I think that blended pretty nicely so I'm gonna flatten this obviously don't flatten it if you plan on doing more work I'm just doing it for this video or I could stamp it up 
And then from here, I could uh, crop it or I could bring it into Lightroom and crop it as well. Let's do a little bit of dodging and burning. So I'm going to dodge my highlights in the Milky Way, try and make this pop a little bit more. It was pretty hazy that night and a little bit of low-lying clouds here, so um, the Milky Way was not as intense. Plus, I think there's uh, a little bit more light pollution over here as well, as you can see in the distance, as the Milky Way gets more uh, southwest. It's not as uh, dark as it is when it's more southeast. Alright, let's switch to burn, and we'll burn the shadows in the sky here and darken this up. Alright, so that's good. I'm going to bring it over into Lightroom, File, Save. Alright, so here's our blend over in Lightroom, and again, I can do more adjustments here, like dehaze. Um, I can play with the white balance, and um, mess around with like a clarity. So I'll bring this over here and isolate the clarity on the Milky Way, make that pop out a little bit more. And uh, we also have texture we could play with. Again, a lot of this, as I always say, is personal preference. All right, so the main takeaway of this video, I just want to really show you guys how to deal with like a really harsh lighthouse and some uh, foreground objects that might be problematic with your blend. So hopefully that helps you guys out in the future moving forward. All right, guys, take care. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.